Hello everyone, and we got a Nissan X Trail for a new gear selector. Use the wear on the old part, they don't sell the part individually. So you're going to start off by pulling this cowling up, which I've already done, and disconnect the handbrake switch. Once you've got that disconnected, you're going to go around to the gear stick. We're just going to pop our hook in the silver bit. Pull that off. Next, what you want to gonna do is get this little bit of plastic and pull that out. So then your gear selector knob will come off. Then you can remove the whole cowling. So next going to disconnect this gear selector and that gear selector. So what we're going to do is pop a screwdriver in there, give it a twist, and that one's now off. Same again on the other side. So on the other side, what you're going to do is get this yellow tab and pop it out and that releases the tension on the clip so I'm just gonna just gonna pop that off and it decides to go well I had to do that with two hands you can now see that's disconnected. We still got the cable attached on the. Just pop that back and let's keep it in the original place. We're now gonna remove one and two of the locators. And because I'm gonna need two hands for this, as you can see, either side there and there, you squeeze those tabs in and pull up. So we've now got those. Loose. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, ten more bolts. Just going to do those. Do those for some reason. A telescopic magnet for this. That's one, two, and three. So now all those are removed, you should be able to lift this out. Because these two are actually located on this panel. I'm gonna have to remove these two 20 torxes, these Phillips, and those torxes there. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove the Phillips. Unfortunately, my snap on battery ratchet is actually in for repairs at the moment due to the head snapping. Sorry. Would have made the process so much quicker. Fishing these out with a magnet again. I 
And we're just gonna remove these two as well. Holding. So what we're going to do now is pop this trim up either side. Just pull that too. And as you can see, just down in there, there's two sneaky Phillips heads. Which we're just going to remove from there. Another silly design. Gonna need two hands for this, so bear with. So, because I needed two hands and I couldn't record it, so obviously we released the screws on the back of this for the cup holder, which we pulled out. Then there was two little tabs on this piece, which were preventing it coming out. Now, because we're not spending too much time on this car, we would have had to strip out the whole center console. All we did was remove those two tabs and it poured out. So now we can put out our gear stick. There we go. For a bit of shuffling, it took about two seconds. We've now got that out. And we're now going to stick the new unit in. I say new unit, it's covered in dust. <laughs> We've got our new one in. Pulled the four bolts and somehow we managed to lose one. Don't know how when we had it all in our nice tray. As you can see I've put a new nut on there with a new washer. Next we're gonna just pop these back into place. So we've got those popped back into place obviously push them in until they click. We're just gonna pop this selector on. So that's that one popped on. Now we're just gonna pop this one on as well. So I'm going to need two hands for that one. So now I've got that one popped back on. All we did was pop the screwdriver behind here to relieve the pressure. So now we can release that clip from the neutral position. That's that clip pulled out with two tabs. You just pull it out. That was holding our car in the neutral position. We're now just gonna pop on pick it. So use a six speed with a reverse. So what we're gonna do is start the car and make sure we can get all the gears before going any further. So I'm gonna put the clutch in and start it. Go slowly lift the clutch. So that's definitely neutral. So we're gonna go across the first gear. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I'm gonna go across the reverse, and that works too. So we know we got all the gears on this in the right position. So we're now just gonna turn that back off. Next, I'm gonna put this back in obviously I've already put the two bolts back in just to hold the gear selector in place so we test the gear so I'm just gonna undo those two nuts pop this back in and come back on now we've got that back into place obviously we popped off the locators but it locates back in the same place so you can get it wrong I'm just gonna pop torx bits back in for all you x trail owners wasn't aware. Right here is the air duct for the rear heating, the rear seats, but here on the bottom of your cup holder you actually have an option to keep it hot or cold. Just so you're aware. Obviously we got the screws back in. This one I'm just gonna pop the cup back in. 
and that just clips in like that. Now we're going to put those two awkward screws back in to hold the cup holder in place. So we've got the two awkward screws back in. Now we're just going to put the two bolts. Oh, lucky that landed where I want it to be. Two nuts back on the gear selector. Just going to put the nut upside down, not the right side up, on my magnet. I'm just going to pop it on there and give it a little twist to get it started so we don't have to fuck about trying to get it back on. So we're just going to tighten those up. That's all those tightened up. So all you're going to do is get these cowlings and we're going to pop them back into place. As you can see they got the little locators down in there. If we can get them to locate. I need two hands for this one as well. There. So we've got the two trimmers back on. We've got the two screws back in. The two torxes. But all we're going to do now is get a cowl in. I'm going to feed the gear stick through the trim. Just like that. Round it goes. We're just gonna pop the handbrake cable back in. Now we've got all that in. Put a gear stick back on. Lock it to place. With this pin. That's the gear stick locked into the correct position. And we're just gonna get our numbered. Slide that down on. Gonna start the car. So we've got a light on there. Make sure the handbrake actually does work. Off and on. Make sure we still got all the gears. In reverse. There you go. That's how you change your gear selector in the Nissan X Pro. Thank you for watching. Do you like and subscribe?